Hi. Well, over the last couple weeks I've been thinking about we have three different messages to preach. And I had a couple ideas. And this one right here came to me a couple weeks ago. We're at church and our pastor is teaching a message. And he was talking about how some of us we need to break our old lives from our current lives and separate that time. And he says, some of you just need to go home wet tonight. Pull the baptismal thing off. And I was ushering that week in all three services. The first service, I said, you know, you really need to, a lot of crap's happened in your life. You know, you're doing an interim ministry thing. You should probably get up there. I said, no, I was baptized when I was 13. I won't do that. I'm not sure anyways. So first service, I didn't. Second service, you know, you really should. Third service came around. Again. Uh, so we went after most people were gone. We actually baptized almost 200 people that weekend. Nice. But towards the end, it's like, okay, fine. Part of the things going through my mind was Pastor Cherry first Samuel. Um, Sam was talking to Saul. And God tells Saul to go in and destroy the Amalekites. Um, destroy everything that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put to death man, woman, children, and infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. And kill everything. Slaughter everything. Of course, Samuel, or Saul, didn't quite do that. Um, he kept some of the women. Yeah. Kept the king alive, so bring back the court, and he kept some of the sheep and cattle, you know, the best ones. And he sacrificed some of them, you know, so he, he did what God said. But he didn't, but he made excuses for it. And Saul, or Samuel, confronted Saul on it. He said, well, I did what I, I was told to do. Because in his mind, he killed most of them. But he didn't do what God did and totally wiped everything out. So the passage here follows in. Um... Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as obeying the voice of the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed better than the fat of rams. So I started thinking to myself, it's like, okay, so you're baptized when you're 13. But you're entering ministry. So are you going to obey? The Holy Spirit, you know the Holy Spirit is telling you to go get baptized. So are you going to go get baptized? Or are you going to let your pride stop you and disobey? Obedience or sacrifice. It's just all the time.